Hey guys, good evening and welcome to my exciting channel where the fun never ends with Mandela Effects. We have a brand new one for you. This one comes to you from Basket of Cups. A huge shout out, brother. Um, and I also have, I'm joined here with Ty. Uh, Hi. Hey, Ty. Hey, how you doing? Hey, good. I was hoping you could talk to me in the audience about, tell us a little bit about this uh, movie. It's called A Streetcar Named Desire. And uh, in the yes. movie, they reference Stella, but now it's changed to Hey Stella. Is that what you remember or do you remember uh, Stella? I, I remember Stella. Okay, so I'm sure I'm sure most of the people would definitely remember Stella. See, it's, a, it's a classic movie. A Streetcar Named Desire is a 1951 film uh, adapted from a Tennessee Williams play of 1947. It's a classic, classic movie. It, it's a it's it's among the classics, just like Gone with the Wind. Yes. And uh, so so what happens? What what is the uh, what is he saying? He's calling for his wife. What what happens in this scene? You remember? Well, it's what it is is uh, Marlon Brando plays the lead. Okay, and uh, you have um, Marlon Brando is plays Stanley. Okay, uh, Kim Hunter plays Stella. Vivian Lee plays Blanche. Okay, mm -hmm. and Marlon Brando, the character Stanley. Okay, is calling for. The actress Kim Hunter, Stella. That's what it is. It's simply enough, Stella. Okay, and now it's something quite different. Right. It's, it's in Wikipedia describes it as him saying, "Stella, Stella, hey Stella," he bellows until she comes down. So, whoops! I just closed it. I'm sorry. I got to bring up Basket of Cups' his video. Hold on. Okay. Okay. So um, we've got. We've got the video, okay, of, this is a woman, she is describing the exact, the breakdown of a streetcar named Desire, and in here she actually says Stella, right? Right. So I'm going to play this, it's, a, it's not long. Right. Right. Looking at a breakdown of the play, a streetcar named Desire, takes place in a rundown section of New Orleans, where jazz and booze flow constantly, where different cultures intermingle, and where street fights are common. Starts off on a streetcar named, you guessed it, Desire. Where Blanche Dubois, the main character, steps off into the steamy and volatile setting. For the record, Blanche is a highly emotional, flamboyant sort of southern belle, fleeing from the last of her ancestral plantation, Belle Reve. I say sort of a southern belle because this is the image she tries to portray, wearing super frilly dresses and constantly flirting. When in fact, her beauty is fading, and she is really an out-of-work school teacher with a shady past. She does try to uphold the fantasy, though. And she's always reminiscing about better times in a very poetic and dreamy kind of way. That's the gun with the wind, she lady. She uses her poetic speech to create this fantasy image of herself in order to cover up a rather shady past, which is understandable. She's dealing with guilt from her husband committing suicide, which took place after she discovered him in bed with another man. And then, having trouble coping with the loss of her husband and loss of her estate, she ends up sleeping with one of her students, which causes her to lose her job. So when Blanche arrives with this haunted sort of past, she comes to stay with her sister Stella and her brother-in-law Stanley Kowalski. Stella is pregnant, and they're both living in a rundown, tiny apartment, but they seem pretty happy. The drama starts in right away, as Blanche flirts about the apartment like an old-school southern belle, while Stanley interrogates her about losing his wife's estate. Stanley Kowalski is a crude, straight-to-the-point, brawling factory part salesman who doesn't buy any of Blanche's romantic fantasies. Stanley's often called primitive, compared to an animal in the play, mm. and dominates the scene physically, acting according to his wants and desires. Not exactly the well-behaved citizen who follows the rules and expectations of society. Blanche and Stanley have some pretty serious sexual tension, but mostly they just bicker, with Blanche calling him a drunk animal thing, and Stanley stomping around the apartment trying to reclaim his territory and maintain his position as man of the house. From Stanley's perspective, Blanche is maybe the worst roommate ever, constantly complaining mm -hmm. about the apartment and bad-mouthing him, and then drinking all the booze and making it hard for him to sleep with his wife. At one point, the argument goes so far that violence ensues. Stanley becomes enraged by Blanche's and Stella's lack of respect for him, and he ends up beating his pregnant wife, Stella. Afterward, when he realizes that she has left him, he becomes remorseful, and in a famous scene, he stumbles out into the street, calling, STELLA! He reminds me of a whiny toddler at this point. To Blanche's horror, however, Stella is touched by his desperation. Alright, so you guys heard that. Ty, Ty you heard that, right? Yeah. She didn't yeah. say, hey, Stella, like it is now. She said, STELLA! Right? And there's another reference. Actually, this is what the actual move. Let me play the actual clip. It's about 42 minutes in. Hey, Stella! You put that towel down there and go to bed. You want us? I want my clothes out here. You shut up. 
You gotta get the law on you. Stella! Yeah. He says it twice. He says, hey, Stella, twice. It should be. Right. And it's right, right about 41 minutes in. Right. So the clip is completely messed up. If it was, if, if everything was to be congruent or parallel, all the parodies, all the jokes, all the, it would be, hey, Stella, not Stella. That's right. And there's something else I found here. Um, I know you can't see what we're looking at here, Ty, but it's Turner Classic Movies. This is straight from their website. And this is a movie clip. It says, Streetcar Named Desiree, A. Right? Desire. Desire. Sorry, I keep saying Desiree. <laughs> 1952 movie clip, Stella. I know it's. I know the year is wrong. They meant 1951. But listen to this. It's, he says, hey, Stella, in this clip. Hey, Stella! He said, hey, Stella. Right? But they actually quote it up here, Turner Classic Movies, Stella. That's weird, isn't it? So that one hasn't which changed is, yet. Which is indicative of a, an, of a, uh, a QE, ME, a quantum effect, where the written thing is different than... What is actually seen on screen? That's right. Much the same way we see with Forrest Gump. Much the same way we saw with Star Wars. Much the same way we see with a number of these. So I, I would say thumbs up for a for an Emmy on this. I would say so too. And there's a there's yeah. a couple of references, um, namely uh, Seinfeld that Teresa told me about. Uh, right. Seinfeld, which <laughs> I know it looks weird. Which of with course, that... is a, another classic classic line from Seinfeld from Elaine. You're going to hear it in a second. Hello. Oh, uh, Elaine, uh, this is my Aunt Stella. Stella. There you have it. Stella. I mean, is she remembering it wrong, too? I mean, what's going on? No. Right. She, look, at, here, here's no, another could, one. People could, people could argue that it's only part of the... the but why in the world wouldn't they say, hey, Stella, hey, Stella? The idea here, the joke is to be screaming Stella's name like Marlon, you, know, you understand. Marlon Brando, yeah. And, right. and what was his connection with Superman, you said? Oh, Marlon Brando, of course, in the original Superman, there, Christopher Reeves, okay? The uh, original Superman from 78, was it? When they brought it back to the big screen? Or yeah. They, you know, the... Um, Marlon Brando played uh, his father. Okay. And uh, it's, we see this uh, other scene here. This is this is from. Uh, it's another reference from The Simpsons, where where Flanders calls out Stella. Check it out. Stella! Stella! Can't you hear me yell? You put me through hell. <laughs> <laughs> right. There you go. Yeah, right. that's a Simpsons reference. You know, they would have said, yeah. hey, Stella. They would have said, hey, Stella. Yeah, right. see. Yeah. So, again, I especially, think we're... Especially with something so... You know, you, you, you draw out the, the cartoon plans. You don't have a number of actors. You're drawing out scene to scene. You're drawing it out. They could have easily been in, hey, Stella, if that's the way that they remembered it, too. But they didn't. They remembered it being Stella. Yep. Stella. All these so, memes online, you see these memes that say Stella. No hey right. Stella. There's one, maybe one hey Stella, but they're all Stella. Right. And if we look back at that one video, that the reference to a Basket of Cups video, the one right. who originally did it, 20 thumbs up, zero thumbs down. So that tells you right there it's a Mandela. Right. There you go. So again, um, I, go ahead, Ty. It's very, that's great. Yeah, I would say thumbs up too on, on uh, the possibility of this being an ME, a true ME. I think so. The one the one little word they added in there, the hey, you know, of course it's an intention, attention getter, but it doesn't make the same dramatic difference as it does when he says, Stella! You no. know, it just doesn't make the same, it's not the same. Right. You know what I'm saying? No, not at all. But yeah, guys, um, thanks for checking me out. Uh, hope to see you this Friday. Uh, we're going to have 
uh, Life Matrix will be on, and we're going to be teamed up with I Am Laszlo. So it'll be an excellent show. Please be there or be square. Have a great Mandela Effect night. God bless. Thank you, Ty. Thank you.